Kat from Creative Crafts. In today's craft, we're going to be doing working with cement. I made videos about this before, but now I'm going to show you something different. So what you need now is you need a few things. What you need is a bowl or a plastic container. It could be square, round, uh, oval. Doesn't matter what size. You need water something to stir the cement in, the cement of course, tape, and you need some kind of sticks or something to hold some, the, the piece that I want to put in here. So you want to see what we did? Let's get started. So what we're going to do first is we're going to mix the cement, but before we do that we need to take some Foley And we need to cover the inside of this. It's not going to go all the way down, so I just want to make sure I have it up high enough. Yeah, that should be good. Make sure it's all the way to the floor. Well, not the floor, to the bottom. And this is what you need to do. Make sure you cover it so it's easy to pull out of the bowl. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the cement to this water. And I have to be quick because of the fact that it dries fast, the cement. So there you go. Now what I'm going to do now is pour the cement in. drumstick. Alright, fine. Make sure you have it in the middle. what I'm gonna do. Of course it's gonna do that. All right. Now we gotta put one on the other side. And now we wait until it dries. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I'm not gonna touch it. So everybody, it's done. It's hot. I love what the plastic Foley did here. It had such cute little designs on it. I think it's excellent. So that worked out even better for me. So this is exactly all you have to do is get a stick. I had an extra drumstick. We had so many of them. My son used to have these Nintendo or what is it, Wii Guitar Hero thing with the drums. 
and um, we had some extra drums for the hell of it and drumsticks and this is what I decided to make out of it. I didn't want to throw it away. I decided to recycle and this is what I did with this. So I'm just waiting for it a little bit more to harden a little bit more and I mean it's perfect. So now I'm going to sand it down a little bit and then I'm going to paint it on one side with this. The top I'm leaving it the way it is. I'm just going to sand it, clean it, and then it's perfect. And then I'm going to paint this with here. So everybody, I sand it all down. Now I'm going to paint only the sides. The top part I'm going to leave the way it is. something that's gonna hold it up for a while so I can paint it so let me turn this up a little bit more so you can see exactly what I'm doing so now I'm gonna paint this like I said you have to make sure all the plastic is off be very gentle Like I said, I love the designs on here from the saran wrap. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint it. I can throw this away. I can use this. And wait for it to dry. I think I'm just going to stick this against there just in case. I'm going to stick some of the paint in here. Nice copper color. So now what I'm going to do is take the paint. You may need to have more than one coat, but don't forget you're only doing the sides. You don't want to do the bottom part unless you're going to put a, um, what do you call it, a varnish coat on top of that so it protects when the paper is on it because you don't want any of the paint to get on the paper on the kitchen rolls or the toilet paper. Like I said, nice thin coat. It'll dry fast and then you can put another coat after that. Until this dries a few minutes only not that much and then we're going to put another coat to see maybe I need a third coat if I need a third coat I'm going to put the third coat and then yeah I decided while I was painting that I'm going to put a varnish on top and then the varnish also where the cement is to protect or do put something else underneath here because I don't want um, the paper the kitchen roll, all the toilet paper, depends on what you want to use, hitting that cement area. So what I'm going to do, and plus protect it from moisture if it ever gets wet or anything. If you use it for the bathroom, I do suggest that you use a varnish on it to protect it from water. Like if the toilet flows over or whatever, if you use it for the toilet paper. You could also paint the stick if you want, but I may leave it like that. I don't know yet what I want to do, so... And I'm so happy with the, I mean, this was a mistake with the Foley, the Saran Wrap, but that looks so awesome like that. See, that's sometimes the best th ideas come out when it's a mistake. And I love the way it looks. It looks so great. And um, yeah, I'm so happy about how it look came out. 
Just gotta paint it, touch it up, make sure all the areas that need paint is painted. Like I said, you gotta wait a few minutes. Let's wait a few minutes and I'll let it dry, put the second coat, and then we'll go to the next step. So everybody, I'm all done. I painted it. It looks awesome. I left it like this, but I'm just gonna put some varnish on it later, another time. But you could either use the tissue rolls, the kitchen roll, or you can use it for the bathroom and put your toilet paper on it. It's stable because it's cement and it's heavy. There you go. Like I said, you can paint it any color or just leave it the way it is. Um, that's dirt that was on the other thing. Close this up like this. There you go. Like I said, I love this here. All this, I love it. So, I'm all done. That's the finished DIY. I hope you like it. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, or Facebook, I will put the information below in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you want to hear, uh, see whatever notifications, whenever I load a video, please press that little bell and you'll get a notification right away whenever I post out a video. And that's it.